Hello, this 1060 here in my workshop I've been working on for a little while and recently put the head on but I uh, haven't got around to re-talking it and I thought it'd make a little video. Uh, it's not a complicated process but uh, if you get it right hopefully the head gasket will be fine. Um, what I'm going to do in this video, not all of it's in the book, I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's what you've got to do, it's just what I do. So uh, I've already took the fan belt off this tractor so that the water pump's not working. But uh, let's have a closer look at a few of the other things. First of all, as you can see, I've put a brick under each front wheel to raise the front. This is so that any water trapped in the cylinder head, sorry not water, any air bubbles trapped in the cylinder head raised to the front instead of uh, growing into bigger bubbles and forcing the water out uh, with a big glug. Uh, as I've already mentioned down here, I've just uh, took the fan belt off and lifted it clear of the crankshaft pulley. I don't know whether you can see that down there, there you go. Uh, so the water pump's not working. Uh, up here at the thermostat housing, I've filled the engine up with water. It's uh, just down there in the bottom of the water, you see the reflection. But uh, when the engine heats up, it'll um, expand and come up higher. And here I've got a... Uh, very accurate um, wine making thermometer. I uh, don't know whether we can see the temperature there. It's uh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, sorry, 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 centigrade for uh, you know, those of you that aren't imperial. And uh, we'll be watching the temperature as the engine heats up. And then one other little trick down here. You can see here I've uh, just put a little it's an old Nuffield T-junction, the same as that one there, that are filled with solder. And I just screw it in the top of the oil feed pipe to the rockers. That way, when the engine's running, I, uh, you haven't got oil splashing everywhere. But what I have done is to uh, get an oil can. And uh, I've just been along the rockers. And uh, before I start it up, I'll give them all a squirt of oil so that uh, things aren't dry. Because the oil will creep in there by capillary and keep everything uh, lubricated during the 15-20 minutes that I'm retalking the head. Right, I think you've seen enough there now. We'll uh, fire up the engine. I've just stopped the engine here for a second so I can uh, take this reading. As you can see the needles have just moved onto the green and the thermometer in the thermostat housing is reading 170 Fahrenheit or 75 centigrade or thereabouts. It'll just give you an idea of the temperature at which uh, it enters into the green. We'll continue now. Well I've stopped the tractor there because as you can see we we're getting a few bubbles in the thermostat housing because whilst the uh, thermometer in there is indicating 85 centigrade or 185 Fahrenheit which is above the temperature at which uh, the engine normally operates when the thermostat opens we were getting some bubbles coming to the surface because probably deeper down in the engine it's a bit hotter than that so now we can start retalking the uh, head bolts as I say the engine's already been put together and the bolts have been torqued up to a hundred pounds foot before they started, but that was with the engine cold. We're now going to do it with the engine hot and uh, see how much more we can get, how much further they'll go. Well, when we go to adjust them, we'll find that um, they've, they've slackened off. So uh, let's get the torque wrench. 
I've now got my torque wrench and I've also got this special what they call an obstruction spanner. I'll turn it around a little bit in front of the camera so you can see what it is. But it enables me to retorque the head bolts without taking the rockers off. And what we do is one bolt at a time, slacken it a couple of flats of the nut and then retorque. So first of all, we'll slacken it. and then tighten her up again. And then on to the next one. I'll just try tightening this one, see, what, see if it will move without being slackened. Yeah, and at 90 pounds it's moving again and I've pulled it up to a hundred. Now we go at this one. Yeah, 90 pounds it's moving. <sighs> and pulled it up to a hundred. Now I'll take my time to work around the whole lot. Happy tractoring everybody. Oh, just a PS. I had a look at the temperature gauge on the bulk on the dashboard and uh, the pointer was exactly in the middle of the white section of uh, the green section sorry the normal running uh, I've took this glass thermometer out of here so it, uh, me being a clumsy oaf I don't uh, break it happy tractoring everybody